Are you looking for ways to solve your knowledge management challenges? Berg Hughes of GE Healthcare provides you the answers in this Call Talk Caramel video. He shares his criteria for selecting a KMS system and the creative way he moved from simple document management to true workflow knowledge management, cutting agents' time to proficiency by 50% and reducing the error rate to practically nil, all while getting agents to take ownership of the knowledge management system. Enjoy this fast-moving, content-filled Call Talk Caramel. Hello, I'm Bruce Belfiore, CEO of Benchmark Portal, and this is Call Talk Caramel video based on our regular Call Talk audio episode for January 6, 2021, which you can find on our website under resources. Today's topic is knowledge management in the contact center. As the complexity of customer interactions increases, the ability of contact centers to manage knowledge becomes more important. Agents not only need accurate information, they need it quickly and in a format that's intuitive, will reduce time to proficiency for new agents, lower handle times, improve first contact resolution, and drive customer satisfaction. It's a pretty tall order. So we're talking today with an expert on the topic, Berg Hughes, who's the Senior Manager of Call Center Operations for GE Healthcare. Welcome to the show, Berg. Thanks for having me, Bruce. Glad to be here. This is a topic that's been really important to us here at GE Healthcare and glad to share anything I can about it. We really appreciate your, your presence here. So uh, just for our audience's uh, benefit, Berg has over 30 years of contact center leadership experience, even though he looks like he's just 25, like I do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he designed and implemented the quality assurance program for Staples North American, uh, Staples North American contact centers and led the first multi-channel contact center for Staples. He served as vice president of consumer service at Teleflora, where he drove a 20% increase in average order value and later became vice president of operations for Buy Seasons, where his teams regularly earned BizRate's Circle of Excellence Award. He is currently in his fifth year as senior manager of call center operations for GE Healthcare where his team recently achieved the Center of Excellence recognition from Benchmark Portal. A great accomplishment uh, indeed, and a very accomplished career. So Berg, your center at GE Healthcare takes calls really literally that can have life and death consequences. Could you explain for our listeners the importance of knowledge management in that kind of environment? You know, one of the things we talk about a lot is improving lives in moments that matter because GE manufactures healthcare equipment, everything from MRIs to ultrasounds, but it's equipment that nobody's using it for fun, right? It's a critical moment in your life or the life of a loved one when you're finding out what's my diagnosis, what's my treatment going to be. Those are truly the moments that matter most in our lives. And that's where GE Healthcare wants to be there. But because those moments are so critical, we cannot afford to make a mistake. And that's where knowledge management and improving our knowledge management system has been so important to us. In addition to those, those moments, we're dealing with nurses and doctors and medical technicians who are on the floor. And especially in the times of this pandemic, we know how stretched these folks are. And the last thing they can afford to do is spend extra time on us or have a mistake made. And like you said, the, every call has the potential for life and death situation. We're always dealing with customers who have multi-million dollar service relationships with us. And these are some of the nation's largest hospital chains. Every one of them has unique needs that we have to be able to accommodate and meet them where they live. Um, and then all of that is an environment where we're highly regulated by the Food and Drug Administration. And if you think about it, an error that we make could literally shut down an emergency room and it could cost a patient their life. So that's why it's so important we don't make errors. And that's why knowledge management is critical to us. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. No pressure, right? <laughs> you know. Environment. Well, you know, what caused uh, GE Healthcare to re-examine its overall knowledge management strategy this time around? Yeah, I, I think GE has always done a great job of documentation. That, that goes without saying, right? We undergo audits every year. We've got ISO certification. The issue isn't did we have things documented and we know what we're supposed to do. It's really how usable is the way we had it documented on a four minute phone call. Um, so when I started, one of the first things that I was asked to do was to lead an RFP on the outsourcer front, looking for a BPO who could help us not just in handling our contacts, 
but also really help us move our customer experience to the next level. To, to take that step from good to great, which is always a really tough step to take. And we were looking for somebody who could help us on all of that. And, and an important part of our BPO selection process was really who could help us the most with knowledge management. Um, and as we went through that process, we wound up finding a partner who was help us, able to help us find and implement a great knowledge management system that works perfectly for where our need is and being able to handle that four minute phone call and get the right information quickly. And that was huge for us. Yeah. Well, you know, I'd like to underline for our listeners that uh, Bert wasn't just looking for something that worked. Uh, he was really looking for something transformative. Just think of what he said just now. And in my experience, when you do that, you always end up looking at knowledge and how it's shared in the organization. Uh, so when you started evaluating KM not options, what were the most important factors? Well, for us, because we have to be there 24-7, 365, we literally can never afford to be down. We needed a high availability SaaS product that wouldn't put more strain on our IT department, but would be something that's a software as a service. Uh, we needed somebody with a proven track record of success doing things that we were trying to accomplish. Uh, we needed to have, have great controls in place because we wanted the ability for our agents to contribute to that knowledge, but do it in a managed way. Um, and at the end of the day, we needed something with really strong search capability that had ease of use for both our agents and our administrators. The ability to organize that information in a way that was logical to our users and, and met them again where their need was on that phone call, getting the right information quickly. Yeah, well, that's, a, that's a great list of factors, Bert. Uh, sort of a requirements document, really, that you can use as a checklist or a spreadsheet template to uh, rank things in a, in a structured way. Uh, tell us more about finding the right answer quickly in your highly complicated context. Yeah, the, the challenge I think with most knowledge management systems is they're really not managing knowledge with the contact center in mind. Mm -hmm. um, they really tend to be more about document management. If you think about what SharePoint was and what a lot of knowledge management is, it helps you find the right document, but not specifically that point that you need for the question that you have right now within that document. Right. Our goal was to try to meet those agents where they lived by, by flowing out the common interactions that they had and then building the knowledge into that workflow. Uh, so if you look at our job guides, what you would see is they're actually really interactive. At each point where there's a decision in that workflow and it can fork, the agent will select a radio button for their particular situation and continue down that path, seeing only the knowledge that applies to them. And that's really been a, a game changer for us. Yeah, that's huge, that's huge. So you're a big proponent, obviously, of organizing knowledge in this kind of a workflow format. Uh, is that something you've had experience with before GE? You know, I, I think every contact center is different. But when I was at By Seasons, we were very, very highly seasonal. So we're bringing in hundreds of agents for the Halloween season, for example. And we had good knowledge articles housed in SharePoint. But what we found is, and I think this happens in a lot of contact centers, that the agent jumps from problem to solution, and they miss all of the steps in between. So they think they know the answer. And as soon as they hear that, Initially, they want to solve the problem. So we built something there that was pretty rudimentary, but it walked the agents through the workflow. So if somebody wanted to return something, it would say, is it over $50, under $50? Then are they U the US or the Canada? And walk them through the steps to the, that right answer. Um, and really what we did there in a lot of ways is kind of what I used foundationally here at GE to say, let's take that workflow and flow it out but then add our knowledge in at each separate step and stand at point along the way so that agents work through that workflow, but every bit of knowledge that they use is built into that workflow. Um, and it's, it's really been a simple way to use KMS for us and uh, the agents have found it very easy to use for them. Sounds great. Well, they say the proof is in the pudding. So tell us about the results your knowledge management initiatives have had at uh, GE Healthcare. You know, we, we had two very high level and aggressive goals when we, uh, when we added our KMS. Um, the first was really to reduce the time to proficiency for our agents. And the second was to reduce our error rate because we already talked about how critical it is that we don't make mistakes and we don't have defects. Uh, so what we have seen is that the time to proficiency for our new hires was cut by 50%. 
Um, so basically, we cut three months off that time to proficiency, and we define proficiency as being able to consistently meet the group averages for quality assurance and handle time. So both from an efficiency standpoint and a quality standpoint, they're hitting our goals, and they're, they're right there with the experienced agents. Cut 50% off of that time. We also saw our error rate, the number of defects, reduce from 1.6%, which was pretty good when we started, especially in the complex environment we're in, down to more recently, we are at 0.05%. So we virtually eliminated the errors that the agents were making. And we attribute that almost 100% to that knowledge management system. And those kinds of accomplishments were recognized by KM World Magazine when we won their Reality Award just last year. Um, and since then, GE has expanded this to include other departments, our part sales department, our uh, multi-vendor department. We're actually looking at bringing our contracts department and some other departments in later this year. Um, and the agents have really become owners of knowledge, which I think is one of the most critical pieces of this. And it's helped us to make this knowledge management system live and breathe and stay accurate all the time. Because instead of just being consumers of knowledge and using this to look up information, the agents, if they have a question, if it's not working well for them, if their search didn't come up right the first time, if something's not clear, if they hear from another department that something has changed, they're going in and providing us feedback every time that happens. We get thousands of pieces of feedback a year from the agents that the person who manages our knowledge management system evaluates, dig into, and then will make updates and changes. Um, and that's been huge because I think if the knowledge management system is just a tool that they're using and they don't feel ownership about it, that's how it gets dated and, and agents stop paying attention to us, yeah. to it. This has really helped us keep on track. And uh, it's been incredibly important for us having the agents feel like they're owners of that knowledge. And the system has made it easy for them to do that. That's fabulous. I mean, the ownership and engagement with the system on the part of the agents is really so important. Uh, well done. I mean, congratulations for that. Well, recently, GE Healthcare earned uh, Benchmark Portal's designation as a uh, Certified Center of Excellence. Do you think your knowledge management system played a role in that achievement? Yeah, I, absolutely it did. Because to me, the, the Benchmark pro Portal process was really an intensive review of our performance, both from an efficiency and a quality perspective. So our customer experience and how efficient and cost effective we were and looking in depth at things like agent satisfaction, customer satisfaction, et cetera. Um, and to me, the KMS cuts across all aspects of that. If you think about it, our accuracy is so important for customer satisfaction and customer experience. Handle time impacts um, the, the cost. Um, and the agents, they are even affected by having the right knowledge management system in place because it makes their job easier. And if an agent gets frustrated because they have a customer on the phone that they can't help, or they have a customer email that they can't answer, and they have to go to two or three people to find that answer, it's hard. Or if they have to dig through other documents, what we have found is the knowledge management system not only makes it better for the customers, it makes it better from a cost standpoint, but it also improves that agent experience. And it's helped us to really keep our agent turnover low um, and hang on to some really good resources. And we feel like that's been a differentiator for us on that front as well. Mm. Okay, that's great. Well, given limited time, can you just bullet point a few other important items from your experience that could be of help to our audience? Yeah, I, th I think my, my biggest piece of experience for anybody using knowledge management is to, is to devote time up front when you're doing an implementation. First of all, make sure that you, you've got a system that works for the contact center because very often uh, other systems are foisted on us for knowledge management that may work for other parts of the company, but they aren't right when you've got a customer on the phone and have to find the right answer quickly. So find the right knowledge management partner. And then once you do that, devote your time into that implementation up front because it's the ultimate garbage in, garbage out experience. Um, we devoted a really significant amount of time to engaging our end users before we even went live with our implementation to find out what it was that they wanted making sure that this would work for the agents on that four minute phone call because they know better than anybody else how it needs to be organized and how it needs to be laid out. Then we spend a lot of time on how do we organize that information and making sure the information was right and accurate. And if where we saw procedures that could be combined or simplified, we spent a lot of time doing that as well. So I would say that implementation is absolutely critical. Um, and you wanna find a tool that's right for a contact center, you wanna spend the time on implementation, then make sure you're engaging your agents so that 
you keep the information up to date and make them owners. Those are the three things I would say are most critical. Hmm. Okay, well, that's great. Well, listen, Rick, I wanna thank you for these great insights uh, and to our listeners, I invite to explore our learning channel for content that will help you with all kinds of best practices. Uh, again, thanks, Berg. Wonderful. We really thanks, appreciate Bruce. your time today. And uh, so I'm Bruce Belfiore signing off on today's Call Talk Caramel. Thank you.